Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to the 12th day of two weeks of Elizabeth Gaskell. Today I'm going to be talking about my third favourite Elizabeth Gaskell novel and that is the brilliant Mary Barton. Chapter 1. A Mysterious Disappearance There are some fields near Manchester, well known to the inhabitants as Grey Hay Fields, through which runs a public footpath to a little village about two miles distance. So Elizabeth Gaskell's Mary Barton was first published in 1848 and it is my third favourite Gaskell novel. I think it is thoroughly, thoroughly brilliant. Before I go into all the various things I love about Mary Barton, let me explain a bit what it is about. I should also say that I fairly recently made a very long video about Mary Barton and George Gissing's The Netherworld, talking about how they present cities within those two books. But Mary Barton is a really fascinating book. It is an industrial novel set in Manchester in the 1830s and 40s, and it follows the character of Mary Barton, a young woman who works as a seamstress. Her father is a factory worker. She has two men who are both interested in her. One is Jem, her childhood friend who is of the same class as her, who is a working class man working in Manchester. And the other is a man called Harry Carson, who is a factory owner's son and a gentleman. She's a bit torn between these two men and for the first half of the book you think this is going to be a fairly interesting, fairly enjoyable love story and then halfway through a big thing happens and everything gets dramatic. If you have this edition of Penguin Classics, do not read the back. It tells you what happens and you don't want to know what happens because it's much more exciting when you don't know what happens halfway through. This book is thoroughly, thoroughly exciting and really, really enjoyable. I stand by what I said the first time I read it, that it is one of the most exciting Victorian books I've ever read. I read the first half in like two weeks and I read the second half in like like two days because that's how dramatic and exciting and pacey it is. It is so much of a page turner for me and a thoroughly enjoyable book. One of the things I love about it definitely is the plot. It's so enjoyable and so fast paced and so dramatic and so thoroughly engaging and I really really enjoyed it. I love the way all the elements of the plot come together and I think what happens halfway through and what follows is quite shocking and makes it such a surprising Victorian novel as it really doesn't turn out the way that the tropes set up at the beginning lead you to expect. I quite like the idea that Gaskell is playing with her readers expectations in that way. I think she does it a few times in, in different novels where she sets up the plot like it's going to be one way and then she kind of tricks you and takes you back a different direction which is something I really enjoy. Another thing I love about Mary Barton is the way that it explores Manchester in the 19th century and also how it looks at industrialization and the problem it brings. The plot of the book is very caught up in the Chartist movement which Mary's father is part of and the way the book explores the complexities and difficulties of life in the city, of the poverty of these people and the inconsistent nature of their poverty, how when you're in work you might be fine but the moment work is gone, you struggle, and the way the book looks at the social, economic and political problems of this kind of society really really interesting. It doesn't do as much as North and South to juxtapose the working and the middle class characters within cities but it does do a little bit and what it does is very very effective. Another thing I love about Mary Barton so much is the way it looks at father-daughter relationships, especially the relationship between Mary and her father which I think is brilliant. Mary's father is a fascinating character, I think very very well done and I think the relationship between them is really really nicely explored. There's actually a lot of Victorian literature deals with orphans which means actually a lot of the time we don't get very many interesting explorations of parent-child relationships within Victorian literature but Gaskell is one author who is really an exception. She has a lot of brilliant father-daughter relationships that are really really well explored. Mary Barton and her father in Mary Barton is one of them. Similarly Molly Gibson and her father in Wives and Daughters are a brilliant brilliant pair and also Margaret Hale and Mr Hale her father in North and South. Their relationship is really interestingly explored as well. I really like that Gaskell examines family life in that way and that she explores those father-daughter relationships especially because Mary and her father have such a complicated but affectionate relationship. I also love the character of Jem who I think is really interesting and really well done and I like his plot development and I also like Mary herself a lot. I think she's a really interesting character because for the first half of the book I kind of feel about Mary how I feel about Sylvia and Sylvia's lovers that I don't get to know her well enough, I don't really see what's going on in her head enough and I feel a kind of distance but then from the kind of turning point of the book halfway through Mary Barton for me becomes a much more engaging character. You get to see see a lot more of her psychological complexities and you get a lot nearer in her head which is something I really enjoy. I also think that her best friend Margaret is a really interesting character. I mentioned a bit earlier on in the week how I think Elizabeth Gaskell is one of the most interesting Victorian authors in terms of her presentation and representation of characters with disabilities. Margaret goes blind over the course of the book and for the most part I think this is really interestingly explored and we get to see how her independence and her ability to work kind of remains and lessens. Margaret is a needlewoman, she is a seamstress so to no longer be able to see means the loss of her livelihood for her but 
all her life she has loved singing and she's actually a very talented singer and she manages to make a life for herself and money for herself and enough independence and income to support herself and her grandfather through her singing. I love the way the themes of morality and duty are explored in Neri Barton and also the themes of family and respectability and the difference perhaps between respectability and morality, especially explored in the character of Mary's aunt Esther who has been a prostitute. I love Elizabeth Gaskell's writing in Mary Barton as I do everywhere. I love the little details she adds to the ordinary lives of these fairly ordinary people and the way that she manages to make what seem on the surface ordinary relationships and ordinary characters into something much much more important. I also think that the broader political and social and economic interests are really really important here and that in this novel Elizabeth Gaskell's social criticism is nearly at its best, not at its best because it's at its best in North and South, but nearly at its best in Mary Barton. I think this is a thoroughly thoroughly brilliant novel and one I would highly recommend because I do think it's a bit underrated. It's certainly one that I think you will enjoy if you've read North and South because it's quite interesting and it provides a bit of an opposition in that North and South, although we do have some working class characters, it mostly looks at the situation in Manchester slash Milton, which is a fictionalised version of Manchester, through the eyes of the middle classes, through Margaret, who is a clergyman's daughter living in Milton, aka Manchester, whereas Mary Barton is entirely from a working class perspective, and so it's quite a nice kind of opposition or companion piece to North and South. If you read them side by side, they deal with a lot of very similar themes from different angles, which is something I find really interesting. I first read this about two years ago, I would say, and then I reread it earlier this year, and I loved it even more on the reread. I really enjoy rereading Gaskell actually because she's one of those authors that is so engaging and her plots are so good and exciting that when I read a book of hers for the first time I tend to read it quite quickly so it's really nice to reread her books and read them a bit more carefully and look out for all the little details and the subtleties of her writing because she is such an amazing author. All in all I would highly recommend Mary Barton, it's my third favourite Elizabeth Gaskell, absolutely worth a read, one of the most exciting and dramatic and page turnery Victorian books you will read in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching, please let me know down in the comments if you have read Mary Barton and what you thought of it and I'll be back tomorrow to talk about my second favourite Elizabeth Gaskell book.